Hi everyone, today we are going to solve another problem. This is based on simultaneous equations, that's why you see the two headed uh, dragons here. We are going to slay the dragon with our math skills. Alright, and first we are going to use model method to solve the problem. Once we do that, we will also see how to solve the same problem with algebra method. Let's dive straight into the question. There are four times as many butter cookies as chocolate cookies in a butter bakery shop. So four times as many butter cookies as chocolate cookies. What does that tell us? The ratio between the butter cookies and chocolate cookies. So butter cookies is four and the chocolate cookies is one. After 100 butter cookies and 35 chocolate cookies were sold, there were five times as many butter cookies as chocolate cookies left. So both quantities are changing, meaning butter cookies, 100 of them are sold, so minus 100. And chocolate cookies, 35 of them are sold, so minus 35. And after that, the ratio becomes 5 is to 1. So the question is how many butter cookies are there at first and how many chocolate cookies are there in the end. So first step. We know we have to go start with the ratio between the butter cookies and the chocolate cookies. So at first, what was the ratio? 4 is to 1 was the ratio at first. Right? And what was the change? 100 butter cookies. Butter cookies is minus 100 and chocolate cookies is minus 35. That is the change. And after that, the ratio became 5 is to 1 as you see here. So now let's get that done using, uh, represent that using models here. So 4 units and 1 unit here. right? And for the after condition we have 5 units and 1 unit here. See the, the total size of this is smaller than this that's because we lost 100 butter cookies or we sold 100 butter cookies so the total here would be less than what you have here the same happens here as well now we can represent this as four before units right these are coming at these are at first so four before units and this is one before unit that's the ratio that we see here in terms of models and the change minus 100 this is in actual numbers minus 35 here right and what results is 5 after units and 1 after unit here so what happens here is how you can look at this is initially we had 4 before units minus 100 that gave you 5 after units Similarly here, we had one before unit and minus 35, that gave us one after unit. So I'm going to write an equation like this, four before unit minus 100 equals five after units. The second equation, as you might have guessed, is one before unit minus 35 equals one after units. Now, our objective is to solve and find what is one before unit and what is one after unit because when we know that we can figure out what was the total number of butter cookies at first and how many chocolate cookies were at the end. So the first question let's focus on that how many butter cookies are there at first. So what we are going to do here is four BU equals minus 100 equals 5AU, right? And we know that 1AU here is equal to 1BU minus 35. So we're going to substitute this 1AU in here in equation 1, which means this will become 4BU minus 100, the left hand side is equal to 5 times, 5 times 1AU. So 1AU can be written as 1BU minus 35. That's what we have done here equals 5 times 1BU minus 35. Now let's go ahead with the 
uh, <clears throat> how to solve this, right? So the answer for this one, when you uh, expand this, it becomes 5 times 1 BU becomes 5 BU and 5 times minus 35 becomes minus 175. So that's the equation that we have. And when we want to solve this kind of equation, what we can do is we can add or subtract or multiply or divide both the left hand side and the right hand side with the same number to solve this. So in this case, what we are going to do is we want to get rid of this BU first, right? So minus 4BU and minus 4BU on both sides. What will happen then? This 4BU minus 4BU gets cancelled out. Here you have 5BU minus 4BU which will result in 1BU, right? Let's rewrite that right now here minus 100 equals 1 BU minus 175. Now again we can add something on both sides so that we can eliminate this 175 this side and find the value of 1 BU. So if you want to eliminate this 175 I have to add both sides with 175 plus 175 on both sides. So that would give us 175 minus 100 would be 75 and here these two gets cancelled off so that is equal to 1 BU so we have found out the value of 1 before unit which is 75 and the question is how many butter cookies are there at first at first how many before units did we have 4 before units were there at first so 1 BU is 75 and that would be 4 BU would be 300 butter cookies 4 times 75 I hope I'm correct yeah 4 BU gives 300 butter cookies now since we know the value of BU we can substitute the value of BU in one of these equations I will choose the easiest one because there are 5 AU 4 BU but here I have 1 AU 1 BU so it's easier to substitute see 1 AU equals 1 BU which is 75 minus 35 that gives you 1 AU so here we are writing the same equation once again 1 BU minus 35 equals 1 AU 1 BU we know is equal to 75 so we substitute that here 75 minus 35 equals 1 AU and 1 AU is equal to 40 chocolate cookies that is the total number of chocolate cookies at the end right because at the end there was only one after unit so one after unit is 40 chocolate cookies hope this was easy to understand and useful so now uh, if you're not interested in uh, going through the algebraic method, you can actually stop watching or if you are, want to know how to solve this using algebraic equations, we will go again and look at algebra method. Right? The same question. There are four times as many butter cookies as chocolate cookies in a bakery shop. After 100 butter cookies and 35 chocolate cookies were sold, there were five times as many butter cookies as chocolate cookies left. So how many butter cookies are there at first and how many chocolate cookies are there in the end? This, there is a grammatical error here, but anyway, this is a math class, so we will ignore the grammar here and start working on it. Now, butter cookies is to chocolate cookies. Before, the ratio is 4x is to 1x, and here, x is the number of um, the amount in each unit that we saw earlier so in uh, in in algebra we will always use 4x and 1x instead of just 4 is to 1 we say 4x is to 1x and this 4x gives the total number of butter cookies 1x gives the total number of chocolate cookies and the change here is minus 100 and minus 35 because 100 butter cookies and 35 chocolate cookies were sold and then the ratio became 5 is to 1. So after ratio is 5y and 1y. Why, why, okay, that's a thing. Why do we have x here and y here? 
That is because as we saw earlier, the unit sizes are different. We do not know the, what is the value of each unit. So that's why we are using Y here. Now, what is the assumption before we do this? We will have an assumption which says let before units be represented by X. The size of before unit be represented by X. And the size of after units be represented by Y. That's the assumption that we have taken before we even wrote this particular um, information here. So now 4X minus 100 equals 5y that is our first equation 4x minus 100 equals 5y similarly 1x minus 35 equals 1y and in in algebra if it is 1x or 1y we just write it as y right because y times 1 is y so x minus 35 equals to y is our second equation now we go ahead and solve these two equations. So what we are going to do is here we know y value of y equals x minus 35. So we are going to use this uh, substitute the value of y from here into equation 1. That means 4x minus 100 is equal to 5 times y and y is equal to x minus 35. So 5 times x minus 35. Now we will have to expand this 5 times x and 5 times minus 35. So that will give you 4x minus 100 equals 5x minus 175. 5 times 35 is 175. Now again the same thing we are going to subtract both sides by minus 4x. So these two will get cancelled off. And that will result in minus 100 equals 5x minus 4x is just x minus 175. Again, what we are going to do is add 175 on both sides so that this gets cancelled and we can find the value of x. And that would be equal to 175 minus 100 here gives you 75. So x is equal to 75. The logic behind adding both sides with some numbers or values is that the equality sign is not affected. That's what we need to keep in mind. We can do anything. Uh, we can add both sides with the same number, same value, or multiply both sides with the same value, divide both sides with the same value, subtract both sides with the same value. As long as the equality sign or the status of the equality does not get disturbed and when we multiply or add or subtract or divide both sides with the same value the equality will not be affected and that is what we use to find the value here x is equal to 75 and what was the total number of butter cookies at first 4x 4x is the total number of butter cookies so Uh, yeah, so 4 times x, 4 times 75 should be equal to 300. So that's the answer for the first one which I have uh, missed out here. Then for finding the value of y, substituting the value of x in equation 2. So again, because this is the simplest equation, we are going to substitute here. So x is 75 minus 35 equals y. So that we are going to replace that x with 75. So that becomes y which is equal to 40. So that's the answer for the second question. How many chocolate cookies are there in the end? There is only one y. So y is equal to 40 is the answer for that. And for the first question, how many butter cookies are there first? Uh, it's not shown here. I missed out, I guess. But that should be 4x which means 4 times x or 4 times 75, which is equal to 300 butter cookies. Hope this was helpful, useful. So if you like it, um, give me a like to this video, thumbs up to this video, uh, share it with your friends, subscribe my channel. Remember to 
hit on the bell icon so you will get notified whenever I upload new videos. If you have any suggestions or comments, please put them down in the comment section. If you have questions that you want me to handle, please do the same. Thank you. Have a great day. Bye.